Hey, and welcome to another Proteus tutorial. Today we're going to go over how to create a room. There's several different ways to do it, but we're going to start from the simplest way. We're going to go over here to our draw box, and we're just going to drag out a box and then lift it up. Maybe give it, uh, I would say, four meters or five meters is, is good. That way we can use uh, some doors. And I'm going to go into my inspector, and I'm going to select, I'm going to use object select mode, and then I'm going to flip faces, which is going to create an interior. Um, I'm going to go ahead and delete this original plane here. I may move my player start in just a tiny bit here. Uh, so now we have a room. You can go over here to the play menu and just play map, at which point click finish, and it'll drop you into a room. That's very cool. We'll pop back using Control Shift E as a hotkey. Um, you can end the editor playthrough session, which is really useful so you don't have to go back into the menu every time and go back to editor so there's a bunch of ways to do it so now we have a room let's go ahead and add a second room and a doorway so one of the ways that we currently have to create a doorway since we don't have a slice tool we go into we select our object and that's the way you can tell is a little object mode here select it and we're going to go into edges and we're going to select the top and bottom face here using control. So control click will add to your selection here. So once you have both of them selected or drag selected, uh, I want you to open up your inspector and we're going to go to connect. So control shift A will connect those two and create an edge right here in the center. Um, and the next thing we will do that again, so I'm just going to go ahead and drag select both of those connect move it over we're going to create a four by four square and put a four by four door in here so one more time just horizontally we're going to select those two connect and then we're going to bring this guy up to create a four square going to go into face mode select him and i'm just going to delete him for now and the next thing we'll do is go to prefabs browse doors and scroll down a little bit to four by four and we're just i'm just dragging right off the menu right here by the way that's just one of the ways that you can do it you can you can do that and I believe there's a there's a hot key for it but drag select is uh, probably the quickest way to do it um, after that I'm gonna go into my rotate tool over here which is also E on the keyboard and I'm gonna rotate him 90 degrees and then move him which is W over here if fits are all nice and snug and let's just go ahead and create another room. Well, I guess I'll show you how this works. So if I hit play now, I've got a door in front of me. I can run up, press E to use, or whatever your use key is, and there you go. Uh, so if we wanted to create another room, I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate this current room. So we'll do this. Uh, I'll use Control D. There's no button for it currently. Um, we'll eventually get that, but Control D will duplicate the room. And then you can just use the rotate function and rotate that back into place. Now, there's some other things you can do if I undo that. Um, undo that. There's some mirroring tools here. I think mirror Z will flip it back this way. And you can utilize that as well. So now we have two rooms. And if I do my play map, now I've got two rooms. Cool. Um, so one of the last things we'll do here is create an ending to the level. So this is our ending. Um, I'm going to, mm, let's see, I'll, I'll make another hole here. So I'm going to use my shortcuts here, inspector, connect, one connect, two connect. And I'll just bring this over and we'll use a smaller door this time, a two by three. And I will delete. Looks like I missed a mark here. Bring that up. And another prowse and doors. I'll just drag this guy in place. Rotate again. And there you go. Now, in order to end the level here, what we're going to do is something new. We're going to go to our asset browser. And we're going to bring our functions. And we're looking for level end. And I'm just going to drag that into place. This is not a trigger volume. It is just an entity. And the only way that the level will end is if you um, use this little end node right here. So we're just going to grab this one. And I'll explain scripting in another tutorial. But we're just going to grab this guy and plug it in right here. So click once here. Click once here. You'll see the little green line. 
or the yellow line and then you just click there all right and that's pretty much it and we're just going to run through and the level's over very cool all right so that's how you create two rooms thanks for watching